How's it going YouTube? This is Tim from Stodder Software and today I'm going to show you how to make a spawn system. Uh, this will come in handy for games where you have a bunch of enemies that need to spawn and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So if, uh, this tutorial might be a little long so don't worry I'll put this in the description so you can just mess with it yourself. Um, I'm going to make a sprite enemy right now. I'm just going to make it you know the default 32 by 32 and I'm going to just make like a little little guy right here um, I'll just put like eyes and then okay so let's just assume that you know these are your enemies okay so we got that little guy right there uh, you also want to create the object of the enemy so this would be obj enemy if I can spell and we'll set that okay so we got our enemy also you want to create another object and call it obj spawn I'm sorry uh, if you didn't know you don't actually have to use underscores if you put a space it'll convert it to an underscore for you but you can do obj underscore spawn underscore system or you can just put spaces doesn't matter and this object does not need a sprite it's just a controller object so what we're going to do is go in the room right away because most people will totally forget about this and they'll wonder why their thing's not working and it's all because of something stupid. But make sure you uh, select your spawn system object and just place it in the room. It doesn't really matter where. Um, I'm just going to post it uh, right here, just somewhere in the middle. Oops, don't need two of them. And uh, we're going to make a create event in the spawn system here and we're gonna have to trigger an alarm to go off so we'll set alarm zero to room speed times three which is three seconds just like this and we also need alarm zero event which we have to add in there so this will uh, basically be where once this alarm goes off that's when it spawns so we'll do uh, spawn trigger and we're going to create the instance. We'll do instance create. And we'll just do 160 by 160 of object enemy. And then we'll do alarm 0 equals room speed times 3. Okay, so if you're following me so far, this is what we got. Uh, we got the spawn system here, the create event. It's basically telling the alarm to go off in three seconds once once the game starts. And then once the alarm goes off, it's going to create the instance of object enemy at the coordinates of 160 by 160. And then it's going to set the alarm back to three again, three seconds, so it can spawn another one. So that's pretty easy so far, right? Now what we got to do before any of this works, uh, I have to at least show you the enemy doing something. So on the create event of the enemy, I'm just going to do motion set which uh, it's basically just moving the character and the first variable here is the direction I'm just gonna do I random I'm gonna do 1000 and the speed will be 12 so basically uh, when the enemy is created it's gonna go in a random direction at a speed of 12 and I'm also gonna add another event here uh, if you go inside this other you can do outside room so we'll do outside room and Basically what this means is any object that goes outside of the room, you want to destroy it, otherwise it's just going to eat up your memory. So let's do this. Um, when the object enemy is out of the room, we want to destroy it. So we'll do instance destroy. That way we won't have objects floating in the middle of nowhere and the negatives and negatives of coordinates. Okay, so now that's pretty much done. And just one more quick thing is... If you wanted to, I'm going to show you. Just make a draw event for the enemy and make sure you draw the cell first. And I'm going to do draw text. And let's see here. We'll do x and y minus 16. And Oh, actually, I'm sorry. That's in the wrong event. Do not do not do that. I meant to put this uh, put this inside the uh, spawn system here. 
the spawn system, do the draw event. Uh, you don't need the draw self because there's no sprite. So, um, as far as the X and Y, uh, let's just do uh, 200 at 200. It's going to draw basically what I'm going to create here, show you how many instances are spawning and how they're being deleted. So we'll do, uh, we'll do instances spawned. This is just going to show you that they are spawning and how many there are. And then I'll do string instance number of object enemy. So basically what this is saying is that the coordinates of 200 and 200, it's going to draw text showing how many instances of object enemy there currently are. And just to be safe, let's do draw. There we go. Set color. And I think we'll just do red for now, just so you can see. So that's basically uh, most of what you need to know. So if I run the game right now, um, this is what's going to happen. Let's just go through this really quick. So we got the spawn system object, which controls the spawning. In the create event of that, we're triggering the alarm to go off after three seconds. So we're setting the alarm. Once it goes off, it's going to create the instance of the object enemy. Then it's going to set the alarm back to three so we can keep the spawning going. Then in the draw event, we're going to draw the number of instances that are currently active and spawned. Just so you can see how many there are and how many are being deleted when they go outside of the room. But in the object enemy, in the create event, we have it basically the create event is only activated when the instance is created. So in this case, every time an instance of an object enemy has spawned, it's going to set the direction at a speed of 12, a random direction. So let's run the game and make sure it works. And there's a lot of other things you can add to the response system. I'm just going through the basics. A lot of people have also been asking this. Um, you know, I've seen a few YouTube videos where people weren't exactly sure. But um, as you can see here, it says spawn 0. And then it says spawn 1. It's just showing you that it spawned 1 and it left the room and got destroyed. So it's back at 0. And that's that's basically it. I mean... You can have them spawn, you know, faster than that, but just to warn you, too many objects at the same time can cause a lot of lag, but that's that's your general spawn system right there. Um, there you, can, you can basically do whatever you want with the code. That's just a simple spawn system. Otherwise, there's other ways you can do them, but this is the way that I've always used, and I've never had a problem with it. Uh, there's also other things you can do like with the view um, you can also have I, I kind of tried this a long time ago but I made like a sort of like an enemy split screen kind of deal with the views where you could see where the enemy was coming from but you could also use, also see your screen at the same time I mean basically whatever you want to do with the enemy it'll happen as soon as it spawns this create event here that's why it's really important is because you need to set all the variables for your object of for the object enemy and everything you want it to do that way all you have to do is use this simple spawn object to spawn your enemy and everything else will take care of itself so it's pretty simple um, I will definitely put this in the description it'll be linked to my Dropbox so you can easily take a look at it uh, modify it basically do whatever you want um, but otherwise yeah that's how to create a simple spawn system if you have any questions feel free to add me on Skype or send me an email if you're not sure of how to contact me, just send me a message on YouTube and I will definitely give you the information you need to contact me. Uh, more tutorials will be coming out soon. Thank you guys.